I'm here at the Arecibo Observatory, and I had always wanted to see this since 1997 when GoldenEye, the James Bond movie, came out. And uh, so it's so exciting now that I live here, I can actually drive to Arecibo and see the dish. It's uh, only about an hour and 30 minutes from San Juan. When you pull into the observatory, you're gonna park down here and remember your wallet because once you hike up this long stairwell at the top of the hill, you do have to pay to get in. Uh, I believe it's about $15 right now. At first, in the 1960s, the dish was just covered in a mesh, but then in the 1970s, they covered it in the aluminum uh, that we see today or saw when it was complete in 1997. This is one piece of the aluminum paneling that makes up the dish. These are special shoes that they would wear when they had to walk on the dish so it would disperse their weight. In December 1st, 2020, some wires broke and that's when it all started to fall apart. But um, there is actually an effort now from some private companies uh, that are trying to build, raise the funds to rebuild it. And the new design would call for a flat dish with uh, many, probably hundreds or even thousands of smaller satellite dishes on top of it, which could be rotated so they can actually point themselves where they want to look. So a little bit of a different design in the future, but it would be great to have a new dish here uh, because right now the only one like it in the world is in China. So we need one here in the US. Apparently there's so much data they collected from before 2020 when the dish was destroyed that they can still analyze all of that for years. And there are researchers up here that are working with all of that. They got around 50 years of research from this dish and uh, I kind of hope they rebuild it. Some people say that there's no need for them anymore. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I know they can create, they've made one called the Event Horizon Telescope, which uses uh, similar telescopes all over the world and then merges them together to create basically one large dish the size of the Earth. That's a really cool idea. I think there's still a place for these. Also, there's limited access to the Event Horizon Telescope.